a pleasant day STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. So for this video lesson, we will talk about the traditional method of hypothesis testing with known sigma. So at the end of this video lesson, you should be able to identify the appropriate form of test statistic when the population variance is assumed to be known and solve problems involving the test of hypotheses on the population mean using the traditional method. So here are the steps in solving the traditional method. First, we formulate the null and the alternative hypothesis. Remember that you always start with the alternative hypothesis. If you are not interested with either a greater than or a less than, then you use a not equal symbol. And then the equal sign to, um, to indicate that there is non-directional in the test. For the right tail test, you start with h sub 1, so that is greater than, okay? And for the null hypothesis, it is less than or equal. And for our left tail test, the direction of the alternative hypothesis is to the left or less than. And the opposite is the null hypothesis. Notice that equalities always refers to the null hypothesis, while the inequalities are seen algebraically on the alternative hypothesis. Next step is to determine the type of test. Are you going um, to use left-tailed, right-tailed, or two-tailed test? And what is the significance level? Is it um, a 99% or a 95%? Or is it alpha 0.05 or 0.01. For the critical values of a um, Z, it's very easy to get it because we have um, the listed already on the table, the critical values. But for the critical values of the T test, you always refer to the T table using the degrees of freedom. Step three, we compute for the test statistics Z. And then for the decision rule, for a left tail test, if the Z critical value is less than or equal to the negative Z critical, we reject the null hypothesis. For a right tail test, if the Z critical value is greater than or equal to the Z critical value, uh, we reject the null hypothesis. For a two-tailed test, when the computed Z is less than or equal to the negative critical or the positive critical, therefore we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So the decision rule will depend on the type of test that you have. Number five, before you make a decision, you must compare the computed value of the test statistic and the critical value. If the decision rule is satisfied, therefore the um, inequality is true, you reject the null hypothesis. But if the inequality is false and the rule is not satisfied, then you reject the null hypothesis. And step number six, we have to write a conclusion based on the claim. So if the null hypothesis is rejected, it means that the conclusion is there is no significant difference. I, I mean, there is a significant difference, okay? But when we um, fail to reject it, it means there is no significant Difference. So let's have a sample problem. Let us test the claim using the six steps in hypothesis testing. So a hospital record shows that the mean weight of newly born babies is 7 pounds with a population standard deviation of 0 0.72. A researcher takes a sample of 50 newly born babies and found that the mean weight is 6.77 pounds. Determine if the average weight of the newly born babies is really 7 pounds. Use 0 0.05 level of significance. So as you could see, this is a two-tailed test because we are not interested on is it greater or less than. But we just wanted to know if it is really 7 pounds. So let us list the given. First is 
we use the hypothesis in words and symbol. The mean weight of the newly born babies is 7. So that is the claim that is mu is equal to 7. Well, the alternative hypothesis, again, this is two-tailed. The mean weight of the newly born babies is not equal to 7 pounds. So we will now test the null hypothesis. Step two, type of test is two-tailed. The significance level is 0 0.05. Okay. And our critical values is positive negative 1.96. Using our Z um, test statistic, we will now compute in step number three, substituting the value 6.77 minus 7 over 0 0.72 over the square root of 50. So for old calculators, let us press this one. But for new scientific calculators, you can directly substitute. So our Z value, could you check if it is negative 2.26? Next, the decision rule. So we reject the null hypothesis if z is less than or equal to negative z or the z value is greater than or equal to positive z critical. Otherwise, we reject the null hypothesis. We compare. Of course, since z is positive, we compare it only to the positive critical. But if your z is negative, you compare it to the negative critical. So since our computed value is negative, we will compare it to the negative critical. So we have negative 2.26. Is it less than negative 1.96? So the statement is true. Therefore, the decision is to reject the null hypothesis. Always remember that we should not compare a negative value to a positive critical value. So since h sub 0 was rejected, we write h sub 1 as the conclusion. So therefore, the mean weight of the newly born babies is not equal to 7 pounds. So meaning the claim was disputed or disproved. So that ends my discussion for the traditional method um, when sigma is known. So on the next video lesson, we will talk about um, traditional method when sigma is unknown. So this is again Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher.